together with an organization called Kids Against Fracking to lobby our state reps. When you have your 30 seconds to give your intro and say your specific piece about fracking, I want you all to practice and think through what you want to say tomorrow. It does make some jobs, yes. It may bring in a little profit, but the downside and the long environmental change is totally not worth it. It's really impressive to see young people go into the halls of power and speak truth and ask for something that is not a popular ask within this building of elected officials. I have a petition to put a moratorium on fracking until it's proven safe. When regular citizens get involved, it's unusual on most bills. And when young people get involved, it's even more unusual. So I think people would sit up and take some notice. It's much better to do something like this with a whole group instead of just like alone. I was wondering if, like, would you support us either making a statewide ban or maybe a moratorium on fracking until it's proven safe? There are some constitutional issues involved, but primarily there are political issues. If this doesn't work and this goes on for another year or two, you may find me leading the charge. Our voices will be heard because, you know, we are citizens as well, and, and these things like fracking and, and climate change and our environmental crisis are, are affecting our future in the kind of world that we are inheriting. I do think that we, that it would be wonderful if young people took up the guise of trying to get this onto our ballot because I think without that kind of political force, it will be hard to get people to take this head on. Arguably, Colorado is the most fracked state in the United States. We had over 50,000 drilled and fracked wells, and that is a number that's really proliferated in the last decade. Our state is experiencing a terrible drought, and yet this is an industry that consumes trillions of gallons of water a year that will be forever removed from the hydrological cycle. We're all staring down the barrel of this gun, the oil and gas industry, who will frack next to our schools, next to our homes, with no remorse. Governor Hickenlooper has been about the best friend that the oil and gas industry could possibly hope for or buy with political contributions. He's only too happy to sue local communities that actually want local control and are best positioned in order to protect their residents' health and safety and property. As I've been sitting down with uh, all sorts of groups. Most of them, to be honest with you, are, are the um, lobbies from the Oil and Gas Association, the Petroleum Association, because they're the ones here in the building the majority of the time. So having you come here is so important. So were you just interested in, in moratorium in Boulder County or? Well, eventually or? I'd say a state moratorium and mm -hmm. then if need be a statewide ban. We have solar energy, we have wind energy, we have geothermal energy, and we have biogas. We do not need natural gas from hydrofracking. We will stand up against them if they are to make decisions to destroy our future.